Hey guys, what's up? Stephen here and we're back to another UI creation tutorial. I'm with Pro Lemon Games and today or on this video, I'm going to teach you on how to use a scrolling frame and check out its properties. So we've already discussed how the resize works. So if you're not familiar with resizing GUIs, uh, you can check out the link down below and we've already discussed that on the playlist. We've also, we're also using UI list layout so I can uh, give you how the properties works and it was also discussed in this playlist. So you can go over there on the link and then you can go back here or because I would not discuss the properties of UI list layout and summarizing on this video. We're going to focus entirely on uh, scrolling frame properties. Uh, okay, so let's start. So I've already adjusted it to what I prefer and how I can teach you the properties. So we're going to start off with the scrolling tab because this is just a frame like how you could resize it same as frame and so we're gonna go on to the scrolling which is unique to the scrolling frame so automatic canvas size would mean it's gonna automatically adjust the canvas size so and this bottom image is for the scroll bar so if you notice the elastic behavior is never that's why there's no scroll bar at the moment so if I make that uh, in always and I make the vertical scroll bar always and then I set a bottom image here usually there's a default one and then I set a canvas here let's say we got two we'd have oh why did that on left uh, let's put that on right but yeah vertical scroll bar position it's either left or right because it's vertical so the canvas size is how large your canvas size is so by two it means like it's two cells apart so let's go with five you see that the scroll bar became little and that's the same on canvas size of the X would have a scroll bar from left to right so if you would have like a larger inventory and you want it to have like left right system add canvas size of two or with how long you would prefer but for the video I'm gonna, just gonna use the Y so we can scroll up and down and we're gonna use UI list now in order for me to explain some some more stuff I need uh, some, to put something inside of the scrolling frame hence the UI list layout so let's paste this notice that it's larger because we've not adjusted the cell size of it on the actual frame so we'll be adjusting that using where is the automatic canvas we're gonna adjust this to x y this means it's adjusting to the x and y of your uh, children so what I have here is the Pearl Lemon Games text label and if I keep adding its UI list is is practically defaulting to make use of it um, so it's not going over below and if, if I scroll down I can still see it so UI list is the one making that happen scrolling frame is just the actual frame of what you want to see so this two plus the grid layout um, the UI grid layout it's another one of the use like usually used on inventory so this two go hand in hand with the scrolling frame so if you notice that I needed to put the automatic canvas size to XY because it would always follow what you set it what you set it so if I put on X it's not gonna adjust on the Y axis it's only gonna adjust on the X and if I put on the Y it's only gonna adjust on Y and it's not gonna adjust on X 
it it didn't go over to the right because we got the actual size of the canvas like the canvas is much more larger than what we set on the on the our text label so that's how it goes but preferably you should do the xy automatic canvas size so that you can adjust your the children on, on the scrolling frames so if you have a larger inventory uh, stack you'd want a larger canvas size so if this is none and you adjust the can canvas size notice that this would get larger and you'd have you're not it's not adjusting to the canvas so because the automatic canvas size is not on so you have to put the x and y there so it would adjust on the size of the children of the frame or where you want it to be and that's uh, the commonly used on scrolling frame plus the ULS layout and grid layout now notice that we have the bottom image here I've put a star there but if you notice I, the star is yellow but it's still back there uh, so that that is the scroll bar image you would need to set it to a certain color that you prefer it in order to change that and it also even have the transparency so if I make it the one you would see the scroll bar and I make it 0.5 it's slightly visible and the scroll bar thickness would depend on whatever you put to so you'd, you'd notice that I have like a star as a scroll bar and if I want a longer more maybe a little and the scrolling direction would be X and Y that means I have left and right because my canvas size has an X so if I want this zero and I don't want having it scrolling to the direction of X I'll just put this on Y so so even if I have this set on 5 I wouldn't have that scroll bar to to the right or left so that's how it goes on the scrolling direction so if you want both X and Y like left and right up and down choose the X Y and if only you want left or right choose the X function and make sure that you don't have the scale uh, you don't you won't have the scale of Y because it doesn't it won't make any sense because you're scrolling to that left or right and you have the Y axis so that's a gist on how it goes and uh, plus the bottom image we also have of course the upper image so you'd have that two star two star scrolling frame so if you want like to have a different one on the top and different one on the on the bottom just change the position so this vertical scroll bar is just the scroll bars uh, the position and stuff so this is the vertical so it's not gonna affect because it's the horizontal bar so let's uh, let's make this scrolling direction to Y uh, hold on. it's not showing because we have none now we're gonna show always it's not adjusting hold on uh, I think the scroll bar bugged out oh no it's on the left so make it on right okay so there you go uh, if you want the thickness to adjust you can just adjust it here like the usual if you want it longer just uh, make it like a bit more to the lower side maybe one or or five just make sure that it's kind of like visible if you notice you'd still see that little one uh, even though it's five so maybe ten so you got that longer bar so this would always go down if you like have a canvas so if you want that to be longer you'd have to make this maybe two so you'd have longer and it can reach the bottom easily so that's how you use scrolling frame if you have any question comment down below and if you found value on this video flash that like button 
and also subscribe to our channel and click that bell icon as we upload daily. Catch you on another video.